This is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a blessed day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Well, Black America continues to be an interesting place to be. And it seems like things are changing. Things that used to be the case are no longer the case. We see people coming to America and saying they're not black. I'm not black. Don't call me black. And then the next thing we know, they're trying to redefine what black is in America. And I think that black Americans, sometimes we're just like going with our heads, going back and forth. Like, what is really going on? So dark-skinned black women have had their moment where I don't like dark skin. I don't like this kind of skin. I like light skin. I like racially ambiguous. I like white women. So we got through that phase. Now it seems like we're going through another phase. And I've seen a bunch of videos people did on my behalf. And I want to thank y'all, not just y'all, but all of my supporters. That's why I'm in tears. Cause <laughs> As much as people can hate on me, they got a lot of people out there that really love me. I was here trying to make a video of my lunch today, and I just, I don't even know if I can finish making it, because I'm sick to my stomach, I don't even want to eat. I'm tired of getting attacked and having to fit myself. I'm tired. I never said I was 100% black. I told y'all what I was mixed with. I'm multi-ethnic, and stop saying I'm biracial. I am not biracial. Both of my parents are I la black Creoles. They're not, I don't have a white parent and a black parent or a Chinese parent and another. I'm not biracial, I'm multi-ethnic. I was raised to be black. I was raised as a black woman. So I don't care what y'all say. It don't matter. I know who I am. Y'all can't come on here and tell me. If I tell you what I'm telling you, that's cause I, I've been living me for 45 years. I'm a good kind hearted person. Y'all just want to shoot jabbing at me, talking about what y'all think, what y'all think, what y'all think. It don't matter what you think. It is what it is. How about that? But, but to y'all that rock with me and that love me, I love y'all to death. Y'all are like family to me. And I'll be a ride or die friend for y'all. That was a lot of cussing in this video. I had to edit some of it out, but you got the gist of what she was saying. She is a Louisiana Creole, and we know what they can look like, but they don't all look the same. What is happening with her is that people are coming on here telling her she's white, that she's not black. Now, if that rule is going to apply, I think all of us are going to be in trouble. We have people in our families that look like that. My grandfather, my grandfather, and my great-grandfather, my father's side on the census the 1900 and the 1930 I don't remember the other one both were labeled mulattoes when we went to our first family reunion there were some older people sitting at a table with some of our aunts and we were saying who are those white people over there and my cousin said they're not white those are Papa's children by his first wife our granddaddy's first wife was very light skinned as he was and the children looked white so at a point I don't know whether he decided I want some dark skinned children or what but he did he left that first wife and married my grandmother who was dark skinned and on my father's side of course and so that's what saved us but we have family members who look like this woman and my granddaddy of course Coming into church, my cousin said he looked like a little old white man. So if we're going to kick everybody out that doesn't look like a black person by somebody's standards, then all of us are going to be in trouble. I really did feel sorry for this woman. Now, Beyonce's mother is um is a, a Louisiana Creole, I, but she looks mixed. She, she's kind of mixed. But when you hear these people talk, you know, they were brought up in a black culture. But there are a number of them. I think Steph Curry's mother is a Louisiana Creole. Prince's mother was a, a Louisiana Creole. That's what happened to us in slavery. 
a lot of this, you're not black and you're not black. A lot of this is coming from black foreigners. They're not coming from us because we already know full and doggone well what happened to us and our family members. And this woman says she's not biracial, she's multiracial, and it shows in her features. So I don't know what to say to people like that. I sympathize with her. What she's going through is probably very similar to dark-skinned people when people start talking about them being dark-skinned. Now, I'm of the complexion that what they call me is the acceptable brown. So I am, I'm, I'm perfectly content with my complexion, but I have been in situations with young men, black men, who said, well, you know, you're not light-skinned or you're not, your hair is not long enough. You're not light enough. You, you know, I'm too dark for them. So we've all been through this, but these are painful things that mostly women go through. Men don't you know, generally go through that. My husband is very light-skinned. I think that if he had a choice, he would be darker. But his mother looks like this woman. Actually, his mother looked like a white woman growing up. She had long, black, straight hair, and she had light-skinned children. And all of them married dark-skinned people. <laughs> and that's what a lot of them did back in the day, especially if they weren't going to pass. They were very, if they were very light-skinned, they married dark-skinned people so that their children would be dark-skinned. Their children would fit in the black race. And I don't need anybody coming on here saying, oh, it's just one race, it's the human race. We get that, but that's not the reality that we're living in. So save it. But this is what happened to us. And so if we're going to start pointing fingers at this late date and say, no, you're not black. Okay, you can be black, but you can't be. Skin tone and this colorism in the black community is very, very painful. It's very painful. You can see this woman's pain. And there have been dark-skinned black women who have made videos who are in just as much pain. It's painful. Dark-skinned women have been ostracized, stigmatized, and, you know, just mocked. So they've had a rough go of it, too. So at a point, we got to come together and say, we can love and support each other regardless to our skin tone. Because it's really who we are inside that really matters. We are commanded to love one another. But I don't know what's so complicated about it. I don't know why people have to get on there and say, you're not black. I still believe a lot of this is non-American blacks. Because we've been used to this. We've been living with this for a long time. What has been happening in the past is that these these paper bag colored black people and light skinned black people have been getting preferential treatment. But now the tide is turning somewhat. And now the light skinned black women are in the spotlight evidently. And I don't really know how to call it because this is new to me. I have to admit this going after people and telling them they're not black is, is new to me. Usually black people are telling somebody, oh, you black, you black. But this is kind of new, so I've got to adjust. Uh, there is one woman who would be considered dark-skinned who has criticized this woman and called her white and all that, but I don't believe that's necessary. I don't think that's necessary. She says, if we, you know, it would be different if she had a white parent. I don't know what the difference would be, but if she has two black parents, she's been raised as a black person, and by the way, this came on the X plat. No, this was on TikTok, but it showed up on the X but it showed up on the X platform too. And a lot of Louisiana Creoles came to her defense and told people to stay out of their business. If you don't know what's going on down there, you need to stay out of it. I I was brought up in Alabama, which is not that far from Louisiana. And so I already I've always known about them. And most of us in the South, most of us know about them because they exist everywhere. They may not be calling themselves Creoles because people that look like this woman exist all over the United States and they call themselves black. But I know they live in New Orleans and they're not all very light skinned. Some of them are dark skinned. It's a culture. It's a culture. 
in Louisiana. And so they understand each other, they recognize each other, and they accept each other. So I want y'all to let me know what you think about this. And do you know about the Creole culture in Louisiana? Because they do consider themselves black. There was a time when Haitians were trying to say that the Louisiana Creoles were Haitian. And they came back and said, no, we are black Americans. So this is, uh, this is, another, hurt, this is another hurtful phase in black American culture. But anyway, y'all, let me know what you think about this. How do you feel about this? And do you see, do you think that people should be telling this woman she's not black? Or should just should they just leave her alone? I, my my inclination, you know, I, like I said, I've, I've been around these people all the time. So we are, and I will end by this, and I will end with this. As a youngster growing up in the South, going to different churches, every church, had at least one black person sitting up in there that looked like a white person. So we are used to it down here in the South. Okay, but let me know what you think about this. Do you consider this woman black? Or should you just go on and pass off into white society? Or should people just leave her alone? Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.